Hello, I'm Dr. Jamie Turndorf, founder of AskDrLove.com, the web's first relationship advice site, and host of Ask Dr. Love Radio. Hay House is publishing my amazing story under the title, Love Never Dies, How to Reconnect and Make Peace with the Deceased. When I was a young girl, I had a vision of the man I would one day marry, so I waited for him to appear. And he did appear on the first day of my freshman year at Vassar College, when I was shut out of all intro sociology classes. I was told to ask Jean Pin, the department chair, if he could find a spot for me in one of the closed classes. I never believed in love at first sight till I walked into his office. Jean was the most beautiful man I'd ever seen. He radiated such inner beauty, kindness, and gentleness. Suddenly, I felt my soul shooting at high speed through a tunnel to the end of my life when I received the message that I must remember every aspect of our meeting because he would be everything to me one day. I soon learned that for most of his life, Jean had been one of the most famous Jesuit priests in history. A religious pioneer who taught at the Vatican, he launched to international fame when he publicly opposed the Pope and the Catholic Church's attempts to block the legalization of divorce. Soon after, the Pope granted him the dispensation of his vows, and he left the Jesuit order in the priesthood and was recruited by Vassar. Four years after our first meeting, I needed help with the statistics for my senior thesis. Even though I wasn't his advisee, he cheerfully gave me his time, and we soon fell madly in love. Despite our vast age difference and different cultural backgrounds and religions, we were completely compatible soulmates. Jean remained my loyal and beloved supporter at every moment of our 27 years together. I asked him once, how can you give me so much? And he said, I just love you, Jamie. Then we departed for our final summer vacation in Sperlonga, Italy. The whitewashed, fortified walls of this ancient resort town towered majestically above the endless blue blanket of the bay below. After days of rain, the sky finally cleared, and we headed to the beach. As we were talking, a bee swooped down and stung his left palm. We have to get to the hospital, he managed. I can't breathe. I could hear him struggling for air. I sped along the road, mumbling something, anything that might reassure him. You have what babies get, I babbled. It's like the croup. Don't worry. The hospital will help you. I love you, I said, with all the conviction my heart could hold. He said, I love you. These were the last words he ever spoke before he slipped into unconsciousness and his heart stopped. Back in the hotel room, I collapsed onto the bed, crying and trembling in terror. I felt as though I'd free-fallen into an abyss of grief and despair. Suddenly, I felt a gentle caress that extended the length of my spine. I glanced over my shoulder. Nothing! No one was there! But he was there, and he's been with me ever since. Jean has asked me to share his miraculous and ongoing spirit manifestations, often in front of witnesses, to let the world know, to let you know, that we don't die and our relationships don't end in death. Love Never Dies also presents my new grief therapy method, extending beyond the Western approach to grief, grieve, let go, and move on. Love Never Dies guides you to say hello, not goodbye, how to create a state of receptivity, and and recognize the signs of spirit presence so you can reestablish your relationships with loved ones in spirit. And my new Dialoguing with the Departed technique is the first method for making peace with the deceased. I'm so excited to share Love Never Dies with you so that you too can reconnect and transform your grief to joy.